Uh, welcome Waffle Ball Fets. We are back with the brilliant Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in the last video we spent some time finishing up the farm area. I was making a few water pumps, a couple of silos, I built a few hay beds as well just to put some hay in the area. We made a tools, toolbox, we also put down a few hoses and it's looking very very nice now. So the farm area has finally been finished and then we also proceeded to travel around the beach and start digging up some manila clams because we're trying to get a bunch of bait for today's video where I'm going to go fishing and look for a few very specific fish. So what we're going to be searching for today, because some of the fish I can't actually get because they're not available until 4pm, so I'm not going to be able to get those because it's currently only 9.34 in the morning. So we're going to go to the pier today and we're going to look for the mahi mahi and we're also going to try and get the giant tray valley i think that says the giant tray valley so that's what we're going to be looking for on the pier and they are large shadows like very large shadows and we're also going to be looking for the beta fish in rivers and it's a small shadow we're also going to be looking for the nimble fish and it's once again in it's the smallest shadow and it's in a river uh, we're also going to look for the rainbow fish that's once again in the river and it's the smallest shadow again and we're also going to be looking for frogs inside a pond and that's what we're going to be looking for. And also an angel fish. Oh no. No, angel fish, golden trout, and catfish are not available until 4 p.m. So mahi mahi, giant tray valley, beta fish, nimble fish, and a frog and a rainbow fish. That's what we're going to be looking for today. We definitely won't get all of those today, but I reckon we can probably get the ones on the pier because that seems to be where I have my most luck when I'm looking for certain fish. Like when I was trying to find the giant tuna and stuff like that, I remember getting those pretty quickly. But first things first, we need to uh, continue digging up a bunch of these manila clams because I don't have many at the moment. And then once we've done with that, I'm going to quickly go over to Timmy and Tommy's and I'm going to buy another fishing rod because I'm not too sure what state my current fishing rod is. It might be very close to breaking. And then once that's done, we'll start fishing. But I need to dig up a lot of these clams first. I did want to try and get this done off camera, but I didn't have time to play Animal Crossing, unfortunately. So I've had to do it on camera. But it's all good, it's all good. It's nice to just run around on the beach digging up some delicious manila clams. We've also still got Gulliver on the beach as well and I've not spoken to him yet because uh, he wants you to find his communicator parts for his communicator and then six of the things I dig up are gonna be communicator parts and we don't want that, we only want bait. I only seem to be finding um, these manila clams along this beach right here and uh, where my uh, orchard is. It's gonna take a hell of a lot longer if I keep digging in the wrong location. <laughs> this just seems to be the best place at the moment, but then I have to run away and wait for them to reset. There's like three or four just on this little bit of beach right here. The other beach is being very stingy. Oh God. <laughs> oh, don't, don't be a twat. What'd you do that for? Yeah, I'm getting like free every single time from this little beach area right here. Lovely. Right, as we're going to be going past Timmy and Tommy's in a second, I'm going to uh, jump in there and I'm going to quickly buy another fishing rod. But one thing you can do, just like with many of the tools in this game, if you do find a really nice looking tool in Timmy and Tommy's that you really like using, because I think I've got one that I really like using. I think it's got like a, I think it might have a rubber duck maybe. Oh, that one might have broke, but I think it's got a rubber duck as a float. So it, I liked it and I kept on using it uh, by customising it where you change the colour of it and that resets the durability. So if you've got a um, very nice tool that you just like the look of, um, when you've used it a bunch, like after maybe, let's just say 40 uses to be sure, I think everything 
that is like made of iron lasts for more than 40 uses but i could be wrong about that so don't quote me on that but after maybe 30 40 uses then just go and change the color of it again and then you'll get to keep it like as a fresh new tool so uh, there's a little tip for you but let me quickly go and buy a uh, another fishing rod because i think the one i've got might be close to breaking because i used it a lot during a uh, bunny day to try and get those water eggs. And those water eggs, they were very flipping rare. They didn't want to give you water eggs until actual bunny day started itself. It was impossible to get those bloody water eggs. I was fishing up like 20 fish before I got like one water egg. <laughs> Sky eggs were pretty rare for me as well for some reason. Oh, we don't need to speak to Timmy and Tommy, do we? We need to go over to the cabinet. Yes, I'm very curious. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, this is the one I've already got. <laughs> We're going to buy another one anyway. But this one is amazing. I love the little rubber ducky, especially if you change the colour of it to like uh, to like um, orange or something like that. It looks very, very nice. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. And if you pick something orange as well, the uh, float really stands out against the blue water. It's very nice. I do like that fishing rod. Okay, let's get back to digging up clams. How many we got at the moment? Not too many, to be honest. Let's leave that there for now. I think once I've got a full bag of uh, clams, then we'll start doing some fishing. Maybe, maybe not a full bag, but a lot. I just don't want to run out instantaneously, and then we can't flip and do any more fishing. Doesn't look like there's any uh, fish up there at the moment. Uh, apologies if you can hear any noise outside my house. The uh, kids are out there having their break time. That's one bit of good news, actually, that I should mention. Uh, every, anybody that's been with me since the uh, beginning of my channel will know that I live next door to a school and there is always a horrendous amount of noise every time I record. Now, I did find a good period of time where I could record where there would be less noise and that would be part, um, 9 o'clock until half 10 every day. But because of the pandemic, it's become even worse for the last year because the kids now have uh, two separate break times in the morning to try and separate the kids so there's not as many kids close to each other. So they now have a break time at half nine, bang smack, bang smack in the middle of when I'm bloody recording. So it's really horrendous at the moment. And then they have another one at half ten. Well, some good news, actually, uh, which is pretty annoying because I'll probably be moving house within the next uh, two years. So it's uh, just the kind of luck I have in my life. But um, they're actually going to be rebuilding the infant part of the school behind my house on the field. So the, uh, the playground will be moved and the playground that is currently where all the noise is will be turned into a car park. So it's supposed to be, be done within the next year. It's not supposed to take too long to construct it. So maybe for the uh, final year that I'm living in this house, I might actually be able to start recording for up to six hours per day instead of an hour and 30 minutes. So if everything goes well and they do get it done relatively quickly before I move, I might, might be able to start making videos on YouTube with no noise, no complaining from me, and also be able to record for as long as I want and not be forced to record at a very specific time of day. So we might be having a bit of good luck soon on this channel, which is a, a bloody miracle, ain't it? <laughs> So I've spent a lot of years being absolutely infuriated by the noise outside my house. And thanks to this stupid pandemic, it's become even worse. Like I'm listening to them scream right now and every time they scream, my ears just, they twitch because of how annoyed I get. <laughs> but yeah, there's some good news for you. They're rebuilding the school, hopefully done within the year. And then uh, I'll be able to record a lot more, which means also a lot more videos for you guys and girls as well. Because an hour and 30 gets me maybe two or three videos done. Six hours, fuck me mate, I'll get a lot of videos done. That will get me uh, 12 videos done. Obviously I can't record for six hours flat because my video camera would run out of uh, space. But I could do like five videos a day with my current memory card. I'm not going to do too much more of this because uh, I know it's probably boring to watch me running around digging up clams. Or you might find it relaxing. Sometimes just watching people do stuff. What do you want, Marina? <laughs> um, if it's all right with you, I'd really like to give you a cycling cap. Well, that is a pretty damn good uh, gift, to be honest, uh, Marina, because even though I haven't rode my bike in a very, very long time now, 
I spent pretty much 16 years of my life doing about 20 miles of cycling every single day. So a cycling cap is probably the perfect gift for me. I'm assuming it's a bike helmet. You're gonna mess up my spiky hair though. It's something I won as a prize from a contest in one of my magazines. Oh, sweet. Just my luck, I'd already bought one for myself at his shop before I knew that I'd won, blurb. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like when people buy games and then the next day they find out that that game's gonna be on PlayStation Plus. I've done that a few times and it's aggravated me, but I suppose you could just send it back if you want or sell the game on eBay. If you don't want it, maybe you could give it to someone else. I won't mind, really. I don't care if you do mind, Marina. I do what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on for now, just so it's not in my bag. Oh my God! <laughs> it is like a cycling hat. It's definitely not a uh, helmet though. It's just like a straight up fashion item. Oh, actually, thinking about it. Oh yeah, I made a fishing outfit. Yeah, I made a fishing outfit recently out of my, um, with my wand. So I'll be able to dress myself up for the occasion. Oh, sweet. We're going to look, we are going to look beautiful. Just checking for any clams. Right, we've got enough, oh no, there's one more. We've got enough clams now. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the crafting bench. We're going to make a shit ton of bait. That's going to take a bit of time because it's one at a, one at a time for some weird reason because Nintendo hate us. And uh, then we're going to head over to the pier and we're going to start looking for the, uh, the what is it called? The Mahai Mahai and the Giant Tree Valley. Tree Valley, Tree Valley. I don't know if it's one word because I wrote it. <laughs> I wrote it in a very weird way. Get out of the way, Phoebe. Come on. All right. Where's the fishing bait at? What does it come under, like? Does it come under consumables or something? Is there a consumable one? I don't think there is. Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, this is going to take a bit of time walking my best, so I do apologise in advance. I'll spam the A button and the B button as much as I can, but this is definitely going to take a bit of time. One thing I will talk about whilst I'm doing this. Um, for the last two weeks in uh, in England, it's been horrendous weather. It's been nothing but thunderstorms. And when I came out of work a couple of days ago, it was like proper, that proper evil, like dark gray sky, like flipping looked like a hurricane was gonna come. We don't get really hurricanes in England. We don't get any really bad weather. We get flooding because of all the rain, but in terms of like natural disasters, uh, the UK is very good for that kind of stuff. We don't experience any of that stuff like earthquakes, flood, um, volcanoes, tornadoes. We don't get stuff like that, hurricanes. But um, the weather looked horrendous. It looked like you'd have a bloody tornado come out of the sky at any point, man. Just evil it looked. So it was like a very evil sort of looking evening. And then across the road, after I came out of work, it would have been um, about 20 past nine in the evening. There was uh, these three, I think they were elderly women or maybe middle-aged women, and they were wearing, you know those um, yellow raincoats that you can get? Those very generic, like what you'd expect to see in the movies, kind of yellow raincoats. There was three of them walking in a line wearing these yellow uh, raincoats, even complete with the little yellow, like pointy raincoat hat that you can get. And should I tell you what it reminded me of? It reminded me of that game. I think it's uh, Little Nightmares, that somewhat like spooky horror puzzle game. It's a very good game. I've never played it, but I have rented it several times in preparation to do it for YouTube. And then I've ended up being distracted and playing something else instead for my channel. But I think if I remember correctly, the main character in that game wears like a yellow raincoat, doesn't she? With like a pointy yellow hat. So uh, yeah, with the whole like dark grey evening and these three ladies walking along looking like the main character from Little Nightmares, it was creepy. Because in that flipping game, even though it's mostly a puzzle game, uh, there are some proper creepy characters in Little Nightmares. And I was, uh, it made me worry a little bit. I was expecting there to be some like gigantic weird like 
dirty monster walking around somewhere. It was, it was a very, very creepy evening, I tell you. But just these three women walking along wearing these like very, very flipping uh, movie-esque yellow raincoats. Look like bloody Paddington Bear, actually, thinking about it. Paddington Bear wears a blue raincoat and that like red hat, doesn't he? Man, I love Paddington Bear. You can't, if you're from England, you've got to love Padding, Paddington Bear. Who doesn't love Paddington Bear? Absolute legend he is. He's a classic. If, if, it's in a, if it's a competition between Winnie the Pooh and Paddington Bear, man, I'm having trouble saying that word. It's uh, all about Paddington Bear for me. I do like Winnie the Pooh as well though, but Winnie the Pooh's a greedy little devil. <laughs> Such a greedy devil, ain't he? He's flipping, he needs to sort out his honey addiction, Winnie the Pooh. I just remember that flipping episode where uh, he eats so much honey in Rabbit's house he gets stuck in the uh, hole as he tries to leave Rabbit's uh, house. <laughs> then you have bloody Rabbit on the other side sticking his arms straight up uh, Winnie the Pooh's butt trying to push him out. Oh. Man, Winnie the Pooh. The, uh, the Hundred Acre Wood. Gotta love Winnie the Pooh, ain't ya? Let me know in the comments who your favourite character is in Winnie the Pooh. For me, I reckon it's... I reckon it's probably, uh, I'd say it's probably Tigger. I just like how much energy Tigger's got. I love it. He's like all bouncy and over the top, ain't he? Yeah, it's probably Tigger for me. There we go. Look at that. What do you think of that, Wolf and Wolf X? I've lost my monocle, so I look a little bit naked at the moment. I've also lost my beard as well. Crap. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Man, I had a shave before I went fishing. Who has a shave before they go fishing? Fishing is the perfect place to have a beard. You fit right in. Especially if you're gonna go fishing on like a boat in the ocean. All of those fishermen have a nice big beard, don't they? Preferably a white beard like uh, Albert from Only Fools and Horses. Right, so this is supposed to be a fishing video and we've spent most of the time just preparing. But that's pretty much what fishing is. I mean, you spend a good week preparing for fishing. You've got to get all your bait ready. If you're making your own baits like boilies, which you can make at home, ground bait you can make at home. You've got to go to the shop and get maggots and worms. Uh, you've got to get corn and stuff. You know, you've got to make your own like baits, like I said. You've got to check all your gears intact. You've got all of the stuff you need and that. So there's a lot of preparation. If you're also going and fishing at a specific lake and you know it's going to be a lake that only you go to, uh, you might want to go there for the first few days and you might want to bait up a specific area just to make sure that the fish uh, are in the area when you come fishing on the actual fishing day. So it's good to bait up the area that you intend on fishing at just to get the fish in that area and stuff. So there's a lot of preparation before you actually do the fishing. I'd say there's like three days of preparation and then the actual day of fishing or maybe two days of fishing if you're going to go night fishing. But uh, yeah, this fish that we're going to go for at the moment is the Mahi Mahi and the giant Trey Valley. Both of them are available all day. Both of them come from the pier and both of them are the largest shadows because you know sometimes you see those massive shadows. It's those, but those are the two that we're going to be going for on the pier. God knows if we're actually going to find any, but I guess we will find out. All right, let's sprinkle some bait in there. I don't know if that's the the biggest or if that's the that might be the one before biggest oh that was quick oh bloody hell this is what we're going to be catching the most sea bass sea bass are the most flipping common fish in this bloody game <laughs> yeah we want the one that's bigger than that just make sure you stand back a little bit when you're fishing on the pier if you've never done fishing in this game, you've got to have your, your uh, float in front of them. And then when they see it, they'll go for it. And normally they bite it up to three times, but for some reason they're biting it immediately at the moment and I'm not ready for it. <laughs> oh, that's a medium size, ain't it? Yeah. I'm panicking. It's because I'm on camera. This is ne this is not how I fish. I mean, I don't really need these anyway because we only need the uh, we only want the big fish. Although I don't know if there's any other like fish that I've just not written down that might be available from other months that I don't know about, like April and that. So to be honest, it might be beneficial for me to just catch everything. But if it's the largest shadow, that's what we need to see. 
God's sake. We're going to have a bad day of fishing, anyway. You get those days where it's just bad days of fishing. You've got to be patient. It's like one time when I went fishing, um, I went to the same lake probably for like about three years and I was regularly doing night fishing. Sometimes I'd stay there for two nights and uh, I went there for a good three years. I never caught anything from this because it was one of those big lakes and the big lakes are good because the fish are bigger in the bigger lakes but because it's a bigger lake, it's harder to actually get the bites. Went there for three years, I was fishing uh, every, nearly every weekend sometimes, was never catching anything and then one day after being sunburnt, having a really bad migraine in September of 2009, I, uh, I was, it was the middle of the night, I think it was about 9 or 10 o'clock at night, it, was, it must have been about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock because it was summer so it was still very, still very light in the evening, so it must have been about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, I saw this like turquoise silhouette uh, on, top of the, uh, on top of the water, very close to the bank and it, it, was, a, it was a big boy because you already know, things underwater already look smaller than they do when you take them out of the water, for example, go and look at your hand under the water and then take your hand out, your hand's bigger ain't it? So uh, this, I knew it was a big boy, I knew it was going to be my biggest fish if I could hook this git. So uh, I, I had to really quickly prepare my rod because I had to take all my stuff off of it for the setup I was using. And um, ah, and uh, I got my, my rod prepared very quickly, I just had a hook on it, nothing else, and a piece of bread. So I put a piece of bread on it, floating, because you was allowed to use floating bread on this lake. And uh, pretty much, I uh, had my torch held. I had my torch held on my neck like that, aiming it, sort of like doing this whilst holding my rod. I looked a bit like dodgy, holding my rod like that with this bit of bread on the hook, holding my torch like that, following him so I could see the turquoise silhouette. And then eventually, I saw him go for my, uh, my bread and I immediately hooked him. And it wasn't much of a, is that a big one? That's a big one, ain't it? It wasn't much of a battle because of how close he was to the bank. And then I screamed to my mate. He brought the net. My mate Ben, who I spoke about on this channel before. And, uh, yeah, I caught it. No, it's a sea bass. You want the shadow that's bigger. These ones are pretty rare, though. Oops, this was a bad cast. But yeah, I managed to catch it, and that is currently my biggest fish on record. I would have beaten my record if uh, I had caught that fish in 2019 when I went to uh, Headfen Fisheries, the one that I uploaded to my channel. Just because I could, you could, if you're, if you fish, if you do a lot of fishing, you can just feel the size of a fish uh, on the end of your rod. And I knew that that was a hell of a lot bigger than the one I got in 2009. So that one in 2019 was a big, big boy or girl. But yeah, unfortunately it managed to bounce out of the flipping net, which really aggravated me. It really bloody aggravated me, but yeah. I do love fishing though. Probably my favourite thing to do, fishing. I have to go again one day. I've got to go in honour of my granddad and catch the biggest fish in history. Look at the size of this little baby. It's like a bloody little goldfish, doesn't it? I think you can catch goldfish in this game. Bloody hell, mate. Very aggressive. Oh my god, look at that! That is adorable! I didn't know there were seahorses. But where is its sea jockey? <laughs> oh, I didn't know there were sea... Well, we, we caught something new today. Oh, well, there you go. It has been a complete waste of time. I have to try and get a thumbnail with that. Now, if we could just get one of the big boys. Come on, turn around, you little devil. Get. Yeah. One thing you will notice, though, is when you go fishing, you do... <laughs> we caught Dory! Well, that's it. We don't need to watch Finding Dory anymore because we found Dory. I caught a surgeon fish, scalpel, forceps, fish hook. I flipping hate this. I hate, I hate these comments. The most dad joke possible, ain't it? I don't know what to make my thumbnail now. 
I could call this video Finding Dory just to try and get a few clicks for anybody that's looking for Finding Dory videos. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been fishing. Like I said, I didn't play the game for very long in uh, April, except for like Bunny Day stuff. So uh, there's probably been a lot of stuff added that I don't even know about in terms of like fish and bugs. Oh, is that, that's not the big one, is it? No, that's the one before big, ain't it? Yeah, that's going to be a sea bass, ain't it? Or it could be something else that I don't have. You normally know, because when you pick up the biggest one, your uh, controller will go crazy. But yeah, I've been trying to say this like for the last five minutes, but I keep getting interrupted by a new fish. But um, one thing you will notice when you go fishing is you catch a lot of little fish and they seem to be a lot more aggressive because the little fish, honestly, fish, even though they, people consider fish to be dumb, fish really, really do remember stuff. They really do have a brain because uh, they're adorable, aren't they? Because uh, when you go fishing, the little fish always seem to immediately just go for the, uh, go for the kill. Whereas the big fish, they will come up to your hook and they nibble. They like try to carefully take the bait. And because they're bigger fish and they're, they're older, they've obviously been alive for longer. So they've most likely been hooked at some point in their life and they've remembered it. So now they know when they go for certain kinds of baits to, to be gentle. Take it gently so you're not aware so they can get it off the hook. But you notice the little fish are very stupid and aggressive. They just go for the bait straight away because they're not familiar with being hooked. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you, you will notice that when you go fishing. It might just be something that, you know, just a coincidence. But, no, I feel like, I feel like the uh, fish really do remember that the winner have been hooked. I think they remember it. To be honest, I don't think fish are as dumb as people uh, like to say they are. Because I used to have a pet goldfish named Lenny. And he lived for seven years, actually. I was very, very sad when he died. But, um... He grew very big considering they only grow, grow to the size of their tank. He grew relatively big. It was a bit weird actually. But um, he, used to, uh, he used to come up to the top of the um, tank to get food when I used to hold it for him. He used to remember, every time I used to open the tank, he used to remember to come up and take it from my fingers and swim through like that. I used to make a circle with my fingers and then hold the food. And he would swim through my fingers and get the food. And he'd always do it. Even if he was like on the other side of the tank and he could have come up and just grabbed the food from me, he would go to the other side of the tank, come up through my fingers and get the fish food. You know, the, the, that, those smelly fish flakes that you feed to the fish. So fish, fish are smart, I don't care. Which I'm kind of not happy about because then I feel a little bit bad when I go fishing. Because if they're all dumb and they've not got much brains and they don't feel anything, then you don't feel bad for hooking them. See, look, a little fish, straight for the kill. Nemo! I don't have a clan fish. I caught a clamfish. How many can fit in a carfish off? Just shut up, Bee Wolf. Just shut up. Seriously. Well, this has been a good day's fishing. It's been a very good day's fishing. I haven't got what I actually set out to get, but it's been a good day's fishing. I mean, you don't really go fishing for a specific fish anyway. Let me know any of you fishermen out there. Let me know if you ever go fishing for a specific fish. I mean, obviously, if you go to a lake and there's like a rumoured big boy in that lake, like a massive catfish at the lake I used to go to, it was huge, like massive. And everybody went there to get this massive, elusive catfish. But most of the time, you just go for anything, don't you? But let me know if you go fishing regularly for a specific fish. I don't. I'm just happy to catch anything. Because I never seem to catch anything. I'm very unlucky at fishing. I'm very unlucky with everything, to be honest. Right, we're getting close to the end of this video, so I might have to make a thumbnail in a minute. Doesn't look like we're going to get the big boy today. I might do another uh, video of me fishing, I think. I've got that. Let me uh, let me make a thumbnail then. So what fish do we want to hold? I think I better get my camera out first. Can you hold a fish and take a picture? I'm not even sure, to be honest. I don't think I can, can I?
I suppose that would have to be the thumbnail, wouldn't it? Let me show them all off then. <laughs> Just in case I can't decide who to, who to use. Lovely. There we go. Alright, well. Thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfers. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next time, we're going to continue doing some fishing, I think. And we're probably going to have to gather up some more bait too. But thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfers. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.